Sarah and I went fishing and we were able to catch this beautiful red drum. We are going to put it to good use by making a wonderful plate of pasta. We're gonna cube this filleted fish and let's get started. So here we are. We can remove this bloodline because sometimes that can kind of have a fishy flavor. So we can remove that and then we're gonna cube the rest. And this is going to be a most wonderful plate of pasta. Now this is perfect if you bury it in your garden below some plants, it's great fertilizer, so don't throw it away. Now we're gonna cube this beautiful filet. And then if you find any little bones, make sure to pull them out. And we're gonna make them into about this size right here and set them aside. One thing you've got to do with the bones and the head is make a fish stock. But we'll make a story for that one as well. And the fish stock is absolutely delicious for a risotto, a pasta, or a soup. There we go. All this is done. And we are ready to get going. While the pan is heating up in the oven, we're gonna pull some of this parsley that we just cut in the garden. And we're gonna set these aside and just chop up the stems for now. Did you know that the stems have incredible flavor? And we're gonna definitely use these to place in the first step of preparing this dish. Let's get maybe two cloves of garlic. We're gonna crush them like this and then chop them and set them to the side. Into our preheated pan, we're gonna put some olive oil and into this, we will put the onions. the garlic and the stems of the parsley. I'm gonna give it a quick stir and some hot pepper flakes and that's totally optional but we love some heat as well as some salt. Let's place our onions, garlic and parsley into the oven and we'll allow it to simmer for a few minutes. Notice that we just have a small fire going on the side. We don't want a very strong fire. Let's peek inside. We don't want um, the onions to brown. We just want them to become translucent. So we are almost there. And here we are. We're gonna add a white wine. Place it back inside and allow the wine to sfumare or cook out. To this, we're gonna add our tomatoes. You see how the wine has reduced? And we're also gonna add our fish stock. And we're gonna add just a bit more salt to taste and place this back into the oven. Let's pull them out and we will crush the tomatoes a bit. Oh yes, look at there, looking great. The aroma coming from here is amazing. Let's just give it a quick stir. Place it back in the oven and then we're going to add the fish. Look at how it's nicely reduced. And the aroma coming from here is amazing. Now we're gonna put the fish in and place this back in the oven for about five minutes. We may have to use a little bit of the cooking water. All right, this guy goes in. Our water is boiling. We're gonna put the salt in and the pasta. We're gonna reserve some of the cooking water to add to our sauce. Now that the water has come back to boil, the spaghetti have softened, and so you're really able to stir them so that they don't stick together. Pull it out, look at it. 
We're gonna add just a little bit of pasta water to it and place it back in. Our spaghetti are al dente. We're gonna place them right in here. And this is going to be a fabulous lunch. Let's add just a bit of pasta water. And then we'll begin to stir everything up and also add some of this fresh parsley. Oh, wow. Another nice drizzle of olive oil. There. Now we're gonna try to toss it a bit like this. Oh, wow, look at this. To finish it off, a little bit of this lemon zest. And always try to use organic ones. And that's just gonna add an amazing extra flavor. We're ready to serve it. Let's plate some of these spaghetti with the fish. We're gonna roll them up in here. Transfer it into our plate. Set it in there. And then to this, we're gonna add some of this fish. Oh yes, and tomatoes. And the only thing that we would love to do is to invite you over and eat this delicious lunch with us. Now, another drizzle of olive oil. Just a bit more of this lemon zest. And a bit more parsley. The best part is yet to come. We're gonna get to taste it. So, I'm gonna set this on the side, roll it up. Ooh, and a little piece of fish as well. And we are going to wish you un buon appetito.